All right, everyone, welcome back to your native script video in which we're going to take a look at stack layout in native script. Now we took a look at what absolute layout is, what it does. You know, you can basically just provide it X and Y coordinates and it's going to place all your native elements according to that position. However, as we know that it is very difficult to maintain all these positions across all the device sizes and you know orientations so obviously this is not something you're gonna, you're gonna make use of very often so there's another alternative and actually there are a lot of layouts but i'm just gonna discuss some of the best ones and the ones you're gonna make use of so there's another layout called stack layout which as the name goes by is places your elements in stacks right in a stack so let's say if I create a label which just says text as uh, you know a first element anything right and maybe we have three more labels second and third so if I save this what we're gonna see is basically that these labels are actually inside a stack right inside a inside a particular order now you can obviously change this stack by default it goes from top to bottom but for some reason if you want it from left to right you can do it by setting an orientation to um, horizontal right by default it fall backs to vertical but if you set orientation to horizontal you see that you get it inside a you know horizontal stack if you do a vertical orientation you're gonna get that in vertical orientation right now on a similar basis you could actually give um a background color to layout so you can see how much how much part of layout um uh, how much part of screen this particular layout is occupying so if i give it a background color of let's say blue i'm not really sure if that's the best idea but you see that it's occupying the full part but if i give it a horizontal you're gonna see that it stacks all the elements to the center of the screen but at the same time still occupying the full area of the screen right so yeah additionally you could manually specify the height of the layout if you want if you just want this layout to be just 100 dps so you can restrict that on a similar manner you could also restrict the width and you can obviously make use of height and width together as well that's not a problem so you see you have restricted your weight to 100 um just as a matter of fact these background colors and stuff is actually also available on your labels so you can do something like this it's not really a problem you know red and you could pretty much do that all day so you could see that uh, you could also give it a height of 200 if you want so you can do all that random stuff and try to create some funny layouts with stack layout now you might think this is something related to flexbox if you are coming from a css background which i sincerely hope so but uh, actually um, native script actually does provide a flexbox layout a separate layout which more or less kind of follows the flexbox conventions from the web so we're going to see that later on but i think that's all for stack layout um the basics at least and that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next video